we will be setting up the first Windows Masternode wallet. We're currently on a Windows 10 workstation. I'll confirm that here in a sec. There we go, Windows 10. Let's hop on over to the zeos.io website. Top right, you'll see the wallets button. Click that. You have the option of downloading the Windows or the Mac OS wallet. We will download the Windows. Slight redirect to a file download site, not a problem. Here you have the download file. Click download. A few seconds later, we have the file over here, uh, bottom left of my browser, which is Chrome. Uh, click on the file and head on to Show in Folder. There is the compressed installation file. Let's go ahead and right click on that and choose Extract All. Now, this window asks us for the destination of where to install or rather extract the files. I'm going to go ahead and extract them in a folder which I will create uh, called Zeos Zero. You can call it anything you like. I like to call it Zero since it is the baseline master folder we are creating. Um, give it that name and let's go ahead and extract the files into that folder. There you have it. You have the folder and you have this file extracted in there. This is the executable file. For the next step, we will create a startup file. Go ahead and open up Notepad. I already have the command of my clipboard, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste it. Essentially what it does, it says it's going to start the Zeos Qt executable, which is this file over here, and it's going to store all the data in the following folder, which is a C Zeos 0, which is where all the files reside. Go ahead and save the file. In regards to location, you want to make sure you save it in the Zeos Zero folder. Hit the Save as Type drop-down and choose All Files. Give the file name of Start Zero. Now this is important. You want to make sure you type in Start Zero dot BAT, which is the batch file extension for Windows. Go ahead and click Save. You'll see the file will appear in the folder. You can go out, close out of Notepad, and there you have the startup file that you will do that you will use rather to now that we've created the startup file, let's go ahead and double click it. Now you'll notice that the Zeos Zero folder has all these additional subfolders and application files here, and that is because we created the batch file that would make that ensured that all the data was kept under a single folder. Given that this is the first time we're running the wallet, it'll take some time to sync up. Uh, it's essentially downloading the blockchain. So let's go ahead and give it a few minutes to do that. And once that is completed, we will continue with the next steps. Once we have downloaded a copy of the blockchain and our wallet is ready to go, we see the 12 active connections to the network. Uh, two basic housekeeping items that you want to get out of the way sooner rather than later. The first one is to encrypt your wallet. Now, I think you've done this before. So you know you need to remember this passphrase. So set something you will soon not forget. I 
again. Here's your warning message. The wallet will close and take care of the encryption process. Now to start the wallet back up again, we will go back to the zero zero folder. And remember to use the start zero batch file to start up the wallet. Okay, now that your wallet has been encrypted, you will need to unlock your wallet for staking purposes. Next step is to go to the Options tab, go across to the Display, and check the Display Coin Control feature. Click Apply, click OK, and exit the wallet. Now that we have successfully set up the wallet, the next step is to transfer coins to the wallet itself. Every wallet has a primary address. This address can be used to either send or receive tokens. In this case, we're interested in receiving tokens, as our intention is to fund this wallet. This is the primary address of this wallet. So we're going to go ahead and rename it to primary. The primary address of the wallet is the wallet address is the address that you will use to send tokens from an exchange.